G'day everyone, it is the Captain. Welcome back to the channel. A big thank you, of course, to each and every one of you that like and subscribe to these videos and you share them around the world <laughs> with all of your pals, all of your buddies, and all of your mates. Today's video has been suggested by a few people. Tammy, bloody Jeremy the Tornado fan, my brother from another mother, Nick, Everybody that I know pretty much has suggested this video, and I thought to myself, well, if everyone's suggesting it, it's best we have a bloody look at it then, eh? So, we travel down to Florida to one of the islands. I don't know which one. Pick one. It's, it's a fun game. Just pick an island, and that's the one that we're on. Anyway, a bolo has been issued for a Tesla who was driving like bloody Stevie Wonder mowing his front lawn. So luckily enough, this sheriff deputy finds the car and conducts a little bit of a traffic stop. But as he approaches the vehicle, the driver has a bloody Mario Kart video game flashback and just bloody legs it. And, well, things don't go well from there. It's on North Bahama Drive. Hey! Hey! Bit the one in the Tesla's just took off. Turn off the vehicle! Turn off the vehicle! Take the turn off the vehicle. Jamaican Street, we're stop stationary. Turn off the vehicle. Sheriff's office. Well, at least she stopped at that stop sign. So that's a start. Maybe she's learning her lesson. Oh, maybe this young penis garage is bloody gonna start paying attention to what's going on around her. I highly doubt it because she's about as intelligent as an alligator with an abacus. Yeah, yeah, she is. She's got the appeal of a wet bag of fucking mincemeat, hasn't she? I tell you what, how hard is it to follow some simple instructions? Turn your crappy car engine off and get ready to play our favourite game of fuck around and find out. Hands out of the window! Both hands! Both hands out of the window! Stay right in there! Don't move! Don't move! Turn off a vehicle! We're the stop sign on the corner of Indies Drive and Jamaican Street. Why are you running from me? Why are you running? Don't get out of the- stay in the fucking vehicle right now! Ma'am? Just stay in the vehicle and keep your hands out of the window. Just stay there for now. Why are you... <sighs> Sheriff's office. Ma'am, you need to stay right there. Both hands out! Oh, I get it, I get it. <laughs> She's retarded. <laughs> That's fair enough then. I take everything I've said back. Oh, you gimpy cow. How hard is it to follow these instructions? It's not that difficult, surely to Christ. This deputy would have a better chance fighting a drug-addicted bloody dragon with a strap-on fucking dildo. Dead set, as my BFM Nick would say. How dare you? breathe the same air as us. I think that she's ready to play our game. What do you guys reckon? Do you think we're ready for our first round of fuck around and find out? Both hands, stay in the fucking vehicle! Fifth to 11, she's getting out. Come here. Come here. Stand in front of my fucking patrol vehicle right now. Right now. Ma'am! Ma'am? Yeah? You need to come over here right now. Why? Because I'm telling you to. 
You're running from me. I did not. I'm right here. Yeah. Now you are. So, what do you want Ma'am. What do you need? Do you need me to pepper spray you? You need to get over here right now. For what? Turn around! For what? 5th and 11, she's refusing to comply. Get, hey! Uh. Get out of the vehicle! You got me f***ed up, bro. I own this Actively time. resist it. Get out of the f***ing... Get out of the vehicle! She's taking off! Oh shit, we are off again to fuck around and find out Grand Prix is underway. D did she say that she owned the island? Did I hear that? Look lady, all because your mouth is a friggin' airport for penis planes doesn't make you the queen of cock. It's just not how it works. Oh, you stupid scrotum sorcerer. Oh my god. Oh, I know that this deputy is going to chase you down and he is going to manhandle you worse than a stripper's titties on New Year's Eve. 50 11, I'm in pursuit again. We're stopped again. Turn off the vehicle! Sheriff's office! Stop me over. Oh my god, Dad! They're arresting me! Stop resisting! What the hell, dude? What are you doing? Don't resist. What are you doing, dude? You didn't even know me. Dad, they're arresting me! Stop resisting! Dad! Dad! <laughs> Get on your Dad! They have me on the floor! Dad! Dad! I don't know what I did! What am I doing? Why are you doing this? One detained. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? <laughs> really? <laughs> Really, you, you don't know why this whole thing happened, eh? Hey, a little bit confused, are you? You're a bit like a blind lesbian in a fucking fish shop. You're just unsure about what's going on around you. Oh my fucking God. You're like a little puppy that's woken up after having its nuts cut off. You're just, just a little bit lost. Something was there, now it's not there, and I don't know what happened in between. Oh, what do you think he's doing this, you porn princess? Look, let me put this, this... Let me put things this way for you, all right? If you're going to have a pillow fight with death then you better get ready for those repercussions. Why? Why? My dad is in the car. Why are you doing this? Okay, let go of no, your phone. No, no, I'm not. My dad is on the phone. And he's... Hey! Hey! You are not going to kick me. This is not okay. Get your leg over here and turn over. <laughs> Oh my she's actively fighting still. <laughs> what happened? What? You good? Yeah. Okay. We were right here. I go up to try to walk up to her. She sees me. She takes off and throws my lights. And starts speeding like 60 miles an hour through the neighborhood. And she took off again. Uh, I'm, I'm sure a lot yeah, hurts right now. Move. No, this is what happens when you flee and then you kick me. I didn't flee and I didn't kick you. So those lights and sirens mean nothing? We're just out Can here. Can I call my father? No, no. He owns the island. 5 to 11, you can okay. really see her. Call my father. I'm not calling your dad. Then what are you going to do? You, how old are you? 
I'm 24. Okay, 24, we don't need to call your dad. Yeah, you're right. And you're not going to take me in either. Get down. No, I'm not. Sorry. You are not going anywhere. Oh, my God. Why would you do that? Oh, I think they will. <laughs> you're drunk. You've evaded twice, right? You're resisting, and you tried to kick a bloody deputy, right? It's kind of like trying to fix a satellite with a fucking sledgehammer. Just because it sounds like a good idea doesn't mean that it is a good idea. Like using single-ply toilet paper, right? Looks like a good idea. It's cheap. You know it's going to do the job. But at one stage or another, you're going to end up with a finger in your asshole, and we all fucking know it. Right, I know a few things about bad decisions. I played bedroom radio with Della Lipo the other day, and this is how you play bedroom radio in case you don't know. Right, it's where you, you, where you get your partner in the doggy position, and then you fucking call her by someone else's name, and then you try and hold on for eight fucking seconds. I got it, I got to 12, I got to fucking 12. I made the speed report just to let you know. I did 86 getting here. Bye. <laughs> I think it's more than warranted. I think you know you that's gonna come right here. You could have okay. killed someone. Yes, you could Yeah, have. I could have killed you too, but you're alive, right? Okay. And my dad's gonna be here right now to tell you for so Listen, she's... until you slow your ass down. Can you and just you... talk to my dad? No, oh, I'm not you... talking to your dad. He's you're a right twenty here. you're a twenty four year old adult. Right. Yeah. You wanna try and to get I'm, her out? I'm on his property. Okay. I don't really care. <sighs> My cat is in the car. Bimini and North Bahamas. Right, you, you, need a, her in? you need to notify him. I don't need to notify anyone. You're can an you, adult. Can you notify? No, I'm not notifying anyone. You want to put her in the back? What? Wait, what, 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 wait what's yeah. happening? I have a def- what she's sick I do? one. I can smell it. Yeah, I know. What did I do? You ran from me. You one. You ran. That's one. Two. Ran from what? Him. How much? You know what? I'm not even going to ask you any questions. All right, you got her. I'm going to go ahead and pat her down. Yeah. Okay. Pat me down, please. Okay. Wait, I need gloves. Just hold the I got gloves. Oh, pat me down. Everything. William, call him. William. All right, just hold her. I don't. I don't trust him. No, I'm not here. You're 24 years old. I am not calling your dad. I'm here on my dad's property. You're in the middle of the road. Yeah, what did I do? Bro. You, okay, for the third time, you fled. I dropped fled my, from my flag. What? Can you get my flag? He ran too. Who ran too? Do you have anything on you that's No, I don't. Me? Don't act all shocked. No, I just like I'm shocked because this never okay. happened. Okay, well. Please call my dad. No, I listen. No, I need my dad here before you do anything. Fuck me. There is a lot to unpack here. Okay, let's see if I can break it down. No, you are not on your dad's property. Two, the deputy didn't flee. He chased you who was fleeing, right? And three, no one, no one is going to be calling your dad, you fucking space cadet, right? Oh my, oh, you're making me so angry, right? Obviously, these deputies didn't have any spare fucks to give it back at the station, so they have absolutely zero fucks for you right now, right? I bet your shaven haven for lost Cox is kind of like an old saloon door in the Wild West, just as people go in and out, I fucking guarantee it. I'm surprised you don't whistle like a hillbilly blowing in a jug when you fucking walk. No, that's not how this works. You're 24 years old. I don't care. That was an adrenaline rush. I didn't do anything wrong and I need my dad here. So can we even do a DUI investigation? You don't need your dad. You're an adult. I didn't do anything wrong, so why are they doing this? Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. We have an RP that said she was intoxicated. I find her parked right here. I put my spotlight, try to walk up to her. She sees me, rolls up the window, and takes off. I throw on my lights, and she's going like 60, swerving in between running stop signs. And then she gets out of the vehicle. I have her taser point. 
I'm telling her, like, just stay there. She gets out, and then she runs back in the vehicle, rolls up the window, and then takes off flying even faster. Like, yeah, because who are you? Uh, he's the police. I didn't know that. <laughs> I, I only told you, you ten times. He didn't sign Did you see this? He Did didn't you do see that. Did you see this? He oh, did. no. Oh, no, because I could hear his sirens on the radio. Do that. Okay. If I saw that, I would have <laughs> <laughs> oh, please marry me, female deputy, please. I promise I'll be ever so good to you. I'll show you a really good time, too. Oh, we can go out for a nice steak dinner. We can take a bit of a walk under the night sky. I will feed you homegrown strawberries that I make myself, and I'll dip those strawberries in the finest chocolate made in the Swedish Alps. I promise you. And then... Oh, and only then, under the sky with God smiling down upon us, I'm going to take out my one-eyed monster and I'm going to take him to your optometrist. Oh, I'm going to make you shudder so hard and so loud, people will think we're summoning the Antichrist. <laughs> okay. Well, Andy, don't lie. Another time, too? Two counts of fleeing in a loop. I know that's that's where it was. Look. Oh, you are not doing this. Oh. You're lucky I didn't tase you, I swear. Lean against the car. What you guys? What are you doing to me? Why? No, what are you doing to Why? yourself? Why? Why? Right, what do you want to do? This? And what do you need me to do? We got fleeing and looting, reckless yeah. driving. I want to do a DUI oh, investigation. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't think yeah. I, I at least can give her the chance. Yeah, you can take those handcuffs off. Are you going to do the field sobriety exercise? She's going to take off on the first time. Can I talk to my family? Here, let me read her, Miranda. Family. No, you're not going to. Let me talk to my father. You're not talking to anyone right now. No. She was on the phone with the father, okay, so let's yeah. be careful. You need to stop moving, okay? Yeah. We have battery in LEO. Did she kick you? She tried. She didn't get me. Do I have to read her, Miranda? You need to talk to for my father and stop holding me like this. You're 24 years old. You're an adult. I don't, you don't need your dad. This well, is Well, I want to ask property. her if she's been drinking. It's not I mean, I can tell she has. Why are you doing this? Just ask her if she wants to feel surprised. Ma'am. Why listen, are you doing this? Dude, I'm just coming from one of his houses. Are you going to do, you gonna do field sobriety exercises? What? Are you going to do field sobriety exercises? Yeah. To decide if you are under the influence or not. I'm not under the influence. You're not taking hand handcuffs. Ma'am. He's going to fight. Ma'am. I'm not under the influence. Listen to me. Dude, my parents do you... have three houses here. I suspect that you are under the influence. I was just in one of them and going Do you want to participate in standard field sobriety exercises to dispel my belief that you're driving under the influence? Yes, of course I'm not. You're, you're... I'm Ma'am, you need I've to listen to me. I've been clean for three years. I've been clean for three years. Okay. I'm like, I don't know why this is happening to me. <laughs> clean for three years <laughs> and you're not drunk. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and I'm not a sex addict. <laughs> See, I can make up bullshit. <laughs> oh, you are smashed, chickstar. Let me fucking tell you about that. You're really lucky I'm good at analogies. Like someone th th that's really good at, at, at doing analogies. <laughs> I remember once you tried to sell your bath water on your OnlyFans account. Joke's on you, bitch. It didn't even taste that good. There's a guy over there. I, I had no idea this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, okay. are you gonna do field sobriety exercises? Because I feel like I don't you're under care. the. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah? yeah okay. Course. Anything you want. Okay. Alright, um. You want me to go ahead and uh, get it set up? Are you gonna do field sobriety exercises, ma'am? I need, need to know to bring, if you're. I need you to bring my dad on. Site. No, no, that's not gonna happen. Ma'am, I need to know, are you going to do field sobriety exercises or not? Who is this when? guy? I don't know. That's my dad. Okay. Well, he's got to go. No, he doesn't.
Yes, sir. Yes, seriously? Dad! Ma'am! Dad! Oh, Dad! Dad! I've been living on this island for three years. Why do you do this to me now? Because you broke the law, you dumb fuck! Oh, now Dad's gonna turn up. Oh, he won't be happy. He he had to leave that Tom Jones concert before he even got to sing Delilah. Oh, he's gonna be so angry to see this bloody, um, you know, matching uniform and car gang kidnapping his little angel on his island, mind you. <laughs> I don't get it. Good fun. Ma'am. Can you just talk to my dad? Don't talk to me. I'm here. I'm here. Code 5. Ma'am, the amount of lives that you just put at risk is ridiculous. Okay? I have no sympathy for you right now. You could have easily killed someone. There are little kids that live in this neighborhood. The fact that you would run from me and go such a high speed... You are... You do not know how lucky you are you didn't kill someone. That's how you got your empathy, right? Mm. Alright, I don't know if we can do it, but she's resisting. Yeah, no. Dad! Debbie! She's resisting. I don't want to take her out of handcuffs. Dad, they have no so. reason. Dad. All right. Yeah, we're not going to do them. Is she patted down? I don't know. Megan, put her in. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Can I talk to him? Nope. Negative. Can I know? Dad, what's going on? Get in. I don't know. Get in. Get in! Dad! Dad! We got resisting with violence. Jesus Christ, I wasn't expecting a fucking surprise round of fuck around and find out. <laughs> At least Dad got to see it, and now he's wondering how she escaped the condom and mutated into this fucking swamp donkey. Maybe, just maybe, Daddy can calm her down. Uh, hopefully he brought her favourite blankie and her fucking binky, you know, just to keep her calm. You have a hobble? You didn't tell me why you're bringing me in the car. Because you were going to jail. Why? Why? Why am I going to jail? What did I do? You gonna calm but down? Why if... am I going to jail? Are you gonna calm down if you talk but, to your dad? But why did I go to jail? <laughs> yes, please let, there, me to dad, please. To please, please let me talk to my dad. Please, please talk to my dad. Please, please, I won't yeah. move at all. What is her name? <laughs> Stephanie. Idea. Stephanie, Stephanie, listen, listen to me, listen to me. I'm going to stand you up and I'm going to let you talk to your dad. You tried to hit another one of these deputies I won't. and you are not talking to him. I won't. I just want to talk to him. She's yeah. getting bad at all. She's She's get up. She's got resisting with oh. Absolutely. You want to well, talk to your dad? Smell the alcohol car. coming off her breath. No, I need to talk to my dad. <laughs> okay, and he's coming. You already. Yeah. Please talk to my. Stephanie, you have to calm down. Why are they? Copy 7275 by Mike. You've been drinking. And you were speeding. And, and, and now the way you've acted, you've gotten yourself in a deep hole and they're going to take you to jail. I've got another puzzle for you. If you are wise, you listen to me. When your kid is up, rat pampered and spoiled like a Siamese. Cat blaming the kids is a lie and a shame. You know exactly who's to blame. The mother and the father. Oompa, oompa, doompa dee da. If you're not spoiled, then you will go far. You will live in happiness too. Like the oompa, 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 dee, doo. Calm down. Huh? Calm down. She went to the floor. There's nothing I can do. Just, just see why, see why I am. Calm down. I'll get down there and see you. Okay, I'll try to get down there, Mike. 
but you can't. Hey, her? You can't start acting out. It's just going to get worse. What did I do? Well, you bought this. I don't know, baby. What did you, I you do? Know what you, you know what you found. No, I don't. What okay. did I do? Please. So, what did I'll I come do? down there if they'll Why just... are there so many lights? Why? She got you. She got out of the car, got back in the car, <laughs> took off, ran multiple stop signs. I am so happy that she didn't kill someone. Yeah. I, it's it's a blessing in disguise. <laughs> you don't know how many medicines I have. <laughs> What's wrong with me? You're toxic. Yeah, I had a little bit, like two, three drinks. Said that she okay, almost hit a palm tree and almost hit multiple pedestrians. Okay. I don't know. They threw me out of the car, Dad. So, what did I do to you? Dad. What's happening? You were speeding and drinking. That's what's happening. That's what you want to bring up, Marabo. There's nothing I can do about it. 1922. This is not the place you come down with a high five. You don't, you don't come down here. I wasn't doing that. As soon as I saw them, I knew not to do that. <laughs> I'm not sure if you heard that, but Dad pretty much said, I'll see you when I can. Fucking perfect response. Absolutely perfect response. Dad must have left all his fucks at home as well. He's got no fucks to give her here on the street. <laughs> It's good to see Colonel Sanders. Hey, didn't know what he got up to here when he retired. Turns out that he owns an island down there in Florida. Good on him. Good on you, bloody uh, Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders just wants to get back to finishing the concert with fucking Tom Jones. And then he's heard that there's a pretty exciting fucking show on bloody cheese wheels later in the night. And then he thought, oh, once, the, uh, once those episodes come to an end, I might head on down to the... Jo oh, hang on a minute. I just found out that it's a three-part series. So I'm going to have to stay at home and watch all three parts of this cheese wheel documentary. Maybe after that, I can see what I'm up to. We'll see what happens when tomorrow comes. But it's going to have to be... Uh, after golf in the afternoon. Uh, look, I mean, I'll get my people to contact your people. Dad. Dad. He's talking. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I never got out of the car. No, he's telling him something that didn't happen. No, we know you didn't get out You're in enough car. trouble. Push. You need to push. You're just digging. Dad! Why? Why? What did I do? Why? Every bit of it. You didn't refuse. Dad, come here. Five two alpha four million uniform. Five two eight. R L U. Come back to the color. Why? Why is this? You don't need to ask why. You don't need to do anything except know that you're going to jail and we'll deal with this tomorrow. Just stop. Why am I going to jail? Because you were speeding. You ran stop signs. Where was I speeding? Well, that's probably you don't know. Well, do they know? Do they know? Everyone knows. Everyone. Everyone on the island, everyone on YouTube, everyone ever in any dimension that's ever existed now knows why and where you were fucking speeding and why you've been pulled over. Everyone. There is, there is people that have just been born right now that are fully aware of how much of a fucking idiot you truly are. Girlfriend, you haven't got a chicken caught in a supernova chance in hell in getting out of this one. Dead fucking set. Right? I bet that you're just pissed because you fucking know that you're on your way to the fucking steel toilet cells and they're not very comfy on the old fanny. We know that, but I hope you love getting your stamp licked more than a 90-year-old man eating an ice cream cone. Dad, do they know where I was feeding? They were behind you. Behind me where? 
For what? You didn't tell me. Oh you my didn't gosh. even read me my rights. Don't have to. Don't have to. Yeah, yeah. Right, we don't have Dad! To. They didn't read me my rights and they don't tell me why I'm going in. Damn. We told you. Damn. Dad! You resist, you're going to catch more charges. I'm not resisting. I'm right here. Get, Get in, in the car then. Right now. Dad! <laughs> Lean forward. <laughs> Lean forward. Dad! Dad! What's happening? What is happening? We told you. No, but like, I... <laughs> you fucking dumb broad. <laughs> if Ted Bundy was alive today, he would be so disappointed in this generation, wouldn't he? Hey? <laughs> She carried on fucking worse than a fucking homeless fuck eating a cheese sandwich. Ha! Well, as you can see, she was charged there on uh, four different uh, felony charges. Uh, she was told to serve uh, probation on them. So there you go. That's what happens if you're going to fuck around on an island. You're going to get fucking done. It's just how it's fucking... Just follow the law. How fucking hard is it for these people? On that note, it does bring us to the end of another great video. I hope that you guys and girls have had a wonderful time, and I hope you have a chance to share this video literally around this wonderful planet of ours. And don't forget, you can like and share, and you can hit that little bloody subscribe button, and you can press the little bell for all notifications if you want. But I've got to get going. You're not going to believe what happened. You can hear my, my little puppy barking away there in the corner. It's because my mate Terry's come to visit. Terry's just been discharged from the military. He's had a bit of a rough trot, and I'm like, well, tell me, the, tell me what happened. Happened, Terry and Terry said to me he was doing his parachute training I said well how did that go and he goes well I was up there I was on the plane I was doing everything that I was supposed to do I had me parachute on and then the instructor gave the green light and the door opened up and he was just pushing fuckers out the door going woof 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 everyone's going out the fucking door as fast as they could until it got to me and I looked at the instructor says Terry and Terry says to the instructor I don't think I'm going to be able to do this and the instructor didn't miss a beat says Terry he leaned over and he grabbed the broom that they use for sweeping out out the plane at the end of the afternoon and he says private terry if you don't jump out that fucking plane you see this broom well i'm gonna shove the handle so far up your fucking ass it's gonna come out near your teeth and i said to terry i said oh tell me terry tell me you jumped tell me you fucking jumped terry and terry just looked at me and said oh i did it first and then it just was really really uncomfortable so i've got to go and deal with him now so i better get going thanks very much for another great video don't forget to subscribe until then i gotta go all right Hooray!